Hello friends, this video on laws of motion part 16 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Please make sure that you have watched all the videos from part 1 to 15 before going ahead with part 16. Now let us look at certain applications of friction which we see in our day to day life. We walk, we are able to walk on the ground or anywhere. That is because of friction. So let us see how friction helps us in day. This is how we walk, right? So what is the role of friction in walking? What happens basically is, when, if you observe it very carefully, when we walk, we move one of our foot backward and we try to push the ground with a foot. What happens? Let us suppose, I'll explain it this way. This is the foot. The first foot which applies a backward push to the ground right now according to Newton's third law for every action there is an equal and opposite reaction now when we apply a push to the ground the ground in turn impose a force on the other foot now what happens the ground will give or it will exert a force on the other foot now, if we compare the mass of our foot with the mass of the ground, we find that the mass of our foot is very lesser. That means the mass of the foot is very, very less when compared to the mass of the ground. As a result, the acceleration produced due to the force exerted on our foot will be very, very greater than the acceleration produced on the ground. Like we exerted a force on the ground. So the acceleration produced on the ground will be very negligible because the mass of the ground is very high. But when the reaction force is exerted on the other foot of ours, since the mass of the foot is comparatively lesser, the acceleration produced would be more. As a, as a result of getting this acceleration, the other foot gets accelerated. And similarly, this process keeps continuing. With one foot, you give a backward push and you get an acceleration from the ground on your other foot and you are able to walk. We give a backward push to the ground. As a result, the ground, ex ground exerts an equal and opposite force on the other foot. Now, what is this force? This force is nothing but friction. So, the force which ground exerts on us, it exerts in the form of friction. And as a result of which the, uh, the foot gets accelerated and this process keeps continuing. Every time we move a step forward, we give a backward push with the other foot. Now let us suppose had there been no friction, what would have happened in that case? In case there is no friction, even if we give the backward push with one foot, we will not get the acceleration on the other foot because we will not get the frictional force to the other foot. As a result, either we will keep moving our legs at the same point or we will slip and fall down. So if there is no friction, we will either slip or we will keep moving at same position. Let us now discuss friction, a boon or a bane against motion. So friction basically is a boon in many ways. At the same time, it acts as a bane in certain ways. When we talk of boon, we talk of the advantages due to friction. For example, we are able to walk due to friction. The movement of automobiles, which is possible because of the friction between the tires and the road. Similarly, there are certain disadvantages when we talk of friction. For example, a good amount of useful energy is wasted as heat in various machine parts. That's because in most of the machines, there is a lot of friction involved between various machine parts. So, a lot of useful energy gets wasted there. Also, it produces a lot of noise. The engines of automobiles also consume more fuel because of friction. So, we can say that friction has many disadvantages, and, but at the same time, it has got many major advantages. Now, since we saw that there are certain disadvantages with regards to friction and we found that most of them are because of friction being involved in most of the machinery parts. So now we will look at certain methods by which we can reduce friction to some extent. 
like use of lubricants what are lubricants lubricants are materials like grease or oil which makes the surface smooth or which makes the surface slippery now use of lubricants will make the surface smooth as a result friction will be reduced to some extent use of grease again grease makes the surface smooth because of which the friction reduces use of ball bearing ball bearings are generally used to replace the sliding friction by rolling friction because as we have discussed that sliding friction when when i talk of sliding friction i mean to say the kinetic friction we know that rolling friction is the one which has the lowest value of all the categories of friction so use of ball bearings helps in replacing the sliding friction by rolling friction design modification changing the design of objects to reduce friction many a times it is found that we do change the design of several automobiles or machine in order to help reduce friction for example if we look at the front of the vehicles or the shape of the aeroplanes that is designed in a special way or that the body of the aeroplanes or the vehicles are streamlined so that the friction due to the air can be reduced to the maximum so these are certain ways which we normally adopt to reduce friction so that we can reduce the disadvantages associated with friction thank you visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos try free online tests get the best quality study materials study from the best tutors and mentors and much more thanks once again